You know, I was just thinking. I was just thinking about the Skinwalker Ranch, also known as the Sherman Ranch, up there um, in northern Utah. And that's a weird place when you think about it. The number of UFO sightings that have been seen on that ran ranch is incredible. And they've all, be, and not all of them, but a lot now have been documented. And um, evidence has been gathered that there is some strange, weird stuff that that's going on there. Um, I mean, some of it's in, you know, some they talk about strange creatures that they, they, they see, like wolves that are over six foot long, um, massive um, wolves that, that will just walk off in, say, into the woods and, and just vanish just like that. You can follow the tracks maybe in the snow or in the mud. And the tracks and the uh, tracks just finish. They they've just gone. Um, you know, there, there's one guy. I think it was Terry, uh, if I remember correctly, and and he was shooting at this wolf and hitting it with bullets. And there's no blood or nothing. The bullets had no effect on this wolf, and he was just protecting his livestock when he bought the Skinwalker Ranch. When he bought it, um, you know, strange things would happen. I mean, his wife, uh, Gwen, would go and get the groceries and um, put them all away in, in the cupboards. And when, when she comes back, the groceries have been put back into the grocery bags. Now, I know that spirits can move things. You know, I, I know of one particular home where the stew was in the in the pot. It was on the, the, on the cooker. And uh, the lady was cooking, and she, she goes out into the next room, comes back in. The pot of stew has been lifted off and has been placed down on the floor of, of the kitchen. And nobody had entered into that kitchen. Um, other strange things at um, Skinwalker Ranch, uh, for example, um, people's mobile phones would, would, would just start. The battery will instantly drain. Or mobile phones will start messaging people. Well, I've known some houses where, where that's actually happened, where the mobile phones um, can just start messaging people without you typing into them um, or you sending a text. And, um, yeah, they can be very embarrassing and, 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 and rude. Uh, back, you know, Skinwalker Ranch, known for bright lights appearing. Um, there's one researcher there. He was up on the ridge and he's looking down with his old infrared goggles and uh, he sees this big orange ball open uh, or appear like a, uh, it's almost like a round sphere acting like a porthole and this creature begins to come out of the, of this orange ball like a porthole. And, you know, and I've encountered many people that have experienced these sort of things, seen these sort of things. Um, there at the ranch, they reckon these humanoid, like aliens, will, will come a, and visit. I mean, so many people I've actually prayed with. Uh, we've prayed about these aliens, these humanoids um, that have been affecting their life. And... It's actually been demonic spirits. And when we've prayed, they've gone. And I wonder, you know, if, if, if you were, if, if the folks there at Skinwalker Ranch or Sherman Ranch, whatever they call it now these days, I mean, if you had somebody come in, a committed Christian, and begin to pray, um, it would be very interesting to see what starts to happen. And if these spiritual things, you know, the bright lights, um, groceries disappearing, coming back again. Um, the, yeah, there was even this one guy, he has, um, uh, was it a, f he had his tool for making, um, what does he call it, like, for fencing. So it's this heavy instrument, it's about five stone, about um, 70 pounds, I think, in weight, and it just, it disappeared, and then a couple of days later, he's out, and he finds this thing up, up in the top of a tree. And again, you know, we've experienced this. We've seen, we, we've known, well, experienced it. I've known people where these sort of things have happened. 
objects have been moved and they have been found in places that you could not have put them in physically. And the interesting thing is this stops when you begin to pray and ask God to bless the home and to bless the land and declare the Lordship of Christ. It sounds to me, you know, if there's no scientific explanation, no rational explanation for what is going on at um, Skinwalker Ranch, it has to be spiritual. So if it's a spiritual problem, you need a spiritual answer. And that answer is the Lord Jesus Christ, who can come uh, in the power of the Holy Spirit and cleanse that land and bring peace to that land. Again, at the ranch, people have been having burns, radiation burns. And I, I've, I've known people who've got into, say, astral projection, and, and they've actually ended up with burns on their hands um, and, and on their body. Uh, and it's a spiritual thing that cannot be explained scientifically. So, you know, I think there at Skinwalker Ranch, uh, which was cursed, interestingly, by the Navajo Indians, uh, when the Utes were, were coming in to try and, I think, take over the place. And so that the Navajo had a skinwalker to, to curse the actual land. And um, a skinwalker is a witch um, who can, if you like, take on the form of a giant wolf which has been seen on this property as well. So very interesting. There's some very dark, if you like, um, demonic activity there. But that can all stop at the name of Jesus Christ. So you guys there at Skinwalker Ranch, may God bless you. May God keep you safe. And may you give the Lord Jesus Christ a chance to to come in and to reveal himself to you and to show you that he's got power over these situations. So God bless and keep you safe. Signing off.